Welcome back everybody. So today this little package just arrived and I really want to share it with you because there are a few cards in here that may be interesting because it is the first time I ever bought them in Japanese, of course, always in Japanese. So let's get started. Uh, this time I'm going to try my very best to finish uh, the video within the 10 to 15 uh, minutes uh, time frame. So let's, let's get to it. So right here we have this one from Justin Hapton. And okay, this is very nice, nice condition. These marks are from the cutting machine. Oh yes, nice. I was uh, thinking that it was a scratch, but it's the crystal from my phone, which is uh, broken. <laughs> so very, very, very slightly broken. And the card is perfectly fine. And it goes back to the sleeve. And in here we have, okay, I think this is a big sleeve. Let's see what's inside. The good thing about this, guys, is that removing this uh, thick one, we can clearly see the rest of the cards without any thing in the middle like this example which one of the shops i buy sometimes uh, packages the cards like this to I, I guess to manage their store their uh, quantity in stock and it's quite annoying because you know it's not the same of course as showing you the cards like this and the other way so we have a Mr. Keldon Warlord, as you can read over here. Kerudo no Warlord. <laughs> this one, Spirit from Rajan, if I'm not wrong. These are just regular uncommon cards from the old sets, which I love, which I deeply love. Oh, yes. Do you know this one from Kaka Foglio family? Foglio family. Very, very nice illustrations. Take a look at this one. This one in alpha must be unbelievable. Someday, someday soon, guys, I will show you. The one from Mark Tedin, I will never get tired of this ones. You know, what's the difference between this card and Chaos Orb? No difference. Same, illus same illustrator, same frame. Casting cost is different, but you know, still beautiful. Still beautiful. We have an amazing drawing, but an awful card. And this one, which I do not remember the name, but this, this background, this uh, painting was used in the game from uh, the year 94, the computer game, which is unbelievably good, that game. I think I finished uh, dozens of times with all colors, uh, using all possible combinations. This, this card will always reminds me to the game. I apologize, I do not remember the name of this card, but you can imagine, not what it, did this is japanese chronicles even if the the symbol is from legends but it is chronicles which is an a set that includes oh yeah this one can you know the illustrator i think you could have already seen don't look don't look can you see it's the same illustrator. Isn't it so obvious? Oh my God, he's so, so good. You can see, you can see the, 
you can recognize his drawings from miles, miles away. Richard Kane Ferguson, so good, so good. He has so many drawings in the old sets. Let's take a look at this one. Duck on Black Blade. Wow, it's nearly, has a little smack over there, but the rest of the car, it's top. Near mint, near mint plus, I would say, because the edges are pristine condition. Lovely card. And as well as these ones, which I get the place at. Oh my God, so beautiful. Don't ask me the name of the car because I don't remember. Nebukado Nezaru. Well, not much information with that. This is how the card sounds. Uh, this, the difference between these round laurels or symbols, you see, round ones, and more with sharp, sharp edges. This is the pronunciation of the card. So it, it would be like Nebucado ne zaru. Well, let's keep going. We have not, no more, no, not much time remaining to, to keep going. I must keep my word, guys, keep my words. Oh yeah, another one from Mr. Tidin. You see, this is very, very annoying. And over here we have a super foil, which we will enjoy together. Oh, it's slightly bent over here. Someone in the comments told me that foil cards can be actually repaired. The superficial scratches. Looking very nice. Drawing is not... Oh, it's from Pip Bentes. Okay, I know this guy. But this drawing, I must say, is not out. It's not from another world. You know, not too much. Okay, we have some El Adam Riscol, if I remember correctly. I wish this one were a fluted strand, but it is not. Very... The same. But, but from the same illustrator, so it's it's near, guys. Mr. Isban with his super axe. You see, it's so annoying. You cannot see the drawing at all. And I don't remember the illustrator, Daniel Gallon. No idea, guys. I have to accept my apologies. And more Mr. Isbans. Let's put them together. Yeah, I remember this one of this this one. Trade Wind Rider was one of the best cards in the set with few with cursed scroll and meditation and few others. Well, it's so bad, so bad recently. I don't know if in pre-modern there might be a, a deck to play this one. That would be amazing. But I don't know. It's just casting cost for, I don't know. Some more, more pain and here, Oh, yes, lovely ones. I think this one were uncommons, all uncommons. Mr. Lady from the Temple of Japan. Lovely one. Whoa, amazing drawing. I have this one from Legends. Oh, I should have it here so we can compare colors, the difference in color, the contrast. And we have here, guys, I think this one one was one of the cards I would like, I wanted to show you. It's my first Nebunerial disc, marked it in. Oh my God, this card, you can't get, you can't imagine how long have I, have I been looking at this drawing, even today. So good. Can you recognize the, the style from this illustrator? You can see it miles away. He's so damn good. And the cards, I would say, it's mint. 
mint or maybe mint less or it has all here no mint anymore yeah maybe in your mint maybe maybe not you tell me guys i don't know i'm going to put it on the sleeve because oh it's 10 minutes already let's keep going we have here another two ones and over here, of course, the price. We have the price. Let's see how it is more. Sleeves from Japan. The rigid sleeves are so, so amazing. Very hard to see, actually. I have bought cards from many places around the world. And I must say that these sleeves only come from Japan. And of course, of course, Mark Tedin again. This one. Oh my God. Take a look at this one. Near Mint, of course. This one is Near Minty. It's an A, so that's supposed to be Near Mint. Let's take a closer look at them. Put the rigid sleeves all together. And the flaccid sleeves with them all together. Okay. We have a very near mint winter orb. Oh yeah. And the third one, let's take a look. My first winter orbs as well, guys. So I hope you enjoy too. Nice, nice. Let's put them over here. Let's give, let's give them a little space in the screen. They also want to see over there. Yep. Let's keep going. And over here, we have a few more cards, not so old cards, but from Portal 2. And let's take a look, a slight look, because we're running out of time. Guys, have you ever countered anyone with this card? I could tell you a couple of stories about this card, man. So much pain on the other side of the of the game. Eye for an eye, nice. This was mine lace, maybe, I don't remember. Abomination, Erg Riders, Erug Elf Riders. Erg Riders is a different card. And North 11 from DM of Melissa Benson, another drawing from old, illustrator from old. Let's keep going. I think I just bought this one because of Ron Spencer. Take a look at this absolute madness from this illustrator. So good. Price card, maybe less than a cent, but I don't care. All the value is in the drawing. For me, for me. Just my opinion. Factor Fission from Terrence Nielsen. Unbelievably nice card and drawing, of course. We have some live terminating events in here from Diterlici or whatever you say it. Diterlici, Diterlici, Diterlici. The second, my second exalted angel, very difficult to find. Very, very difficult to find. At a good price, of course. If you want to pay it unbelievably expensive, it's going to be easier for you to find, of course. And some dragons, if I'm not wrong. Or fairies. From Chronicles again. And can you tell me, guys, can you tell me who drew this illustration? Unbelievable monster. Imagine yourself being hit with this weapon. Oh my. Richard Kane Ferguson. 94 awesome and of course mark pool 
In my opinion, Mark Poole is not so good, but I guess, I guess, he drew one of the very best cards in all the game. You know what I mean, you know which cards I'm referring to. Ami Weber with some artifacts, amazing, uncommons. I have no idea who is this guy or what this card does, but it's portal rare in Japanese, good enough for me. The same with these ones. And uh, we are almost there, guys. I'm a couple of seconds out of the place. We have some sacrificing lands in Japanese, very appealing to my eye. From Dol Hasseltine, which I don't know who he is, but I do know who Rob Alexander is. So we are very happy to have him around. Let's keep going. We are almost finished. We have some lovely, lovely, lovely commons and playable commons from days to Dures in the D. We have some Tinker and we have a couple of two more. Yes, we have the playset already. It's been, it, they take to, so long to come from Japan that I, sometimes I don't remember what I'm opening, guys, for you, so. And we have this card over here, which I think it's a very interesting card. If I remember correctly, this card was Blackmail from Mr. Moiler. Yeah, it's, it's near mint. What is the sleeve? Foil cards always in the sleeves, guys, because you know what happens to them. They get damaged so easily, scratch it in the surface. Nothing more to say. We know more artists, but we are out of time, so we have to apologize. My bad video programming or structure or time investment. And uh, yes, it's over. Those were the last cards. And uh, these are the beautiful ones, along with the Nevenereal disc, which I believe must be around, around over here, maybe. <sighs> okay, let's leave it that way. Thank you guys for being here and uh, I hope to see you are around. Have a nice day and take care. Bye bye.